So last season on Private Practice, Addison tried for a baby, Amelia had a total unraveling, and Pete got locked to the hooskow. And I cried a bunch. It was so sad. Really sad. Ryan! Hi, this is Allie Ward with a recap of last season on Private Practice. We start off with Addison visits a new fertility doctor who just happens to be, ready for this? Pineapple guy from last season who lost the goatee and stole my heart and then put his hands up Addison in a non-sexual way, apparently. You be the judge. And then Amelia starts acting weird again and people are like, what's she got in her system now? You know what she's got in her system? She's got her dead fiance's baby in her system. What's worse than that? Oh, the baby is developing without a brain. Two upshots to this. She's gonna donate all the organs to kids who need them. Good karma. But also, it allows her to say things like, go away. I'm growing a brainless baby with like serious vitriol and everyone's like, she's right, she is growing a brainless, I mean, she's growing a brainless baby. So don't even add, don't ask her for the paperwork, she's gonna get it. Just go get her a Coke or something. And Pete helped one of his heart patients die with dignity by unplugging his machine, an act that Charlotte and the penal system calls murder. So he goes to jail and he doesn't make bail until he lies and says that he is super, Super, super sorry I killed that guy, you guys. Are to I'm so regret it. He doesn't regret it, but he is happy to see Violet. He comes to her door and swings it open and they kiss passionately. And I don't know if they give toothbrushes in prison, I, but I hope they do. I really, really, really hope they do. And I think he's been wearing those scrubs for like at least a week. Finally, Amelia has her unicorn baby. Why does she keep calling it a unicorn baby? I don't get it, does it have a horn? I thought it didn't have a brain. No, 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 she calls it a unicorn baby because it's magical and it'll help people. Because unicorns do that. I had actually, I, a unicorn helped me change my tire in college. They're so helpful. Super, it wouldn't take a dime for it. But after the surgery, Addie and Jake are so emotionally exhausted from this that they steal away and have a nice little heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Wait, did I say conversation? Did I say conversation? I'm sorry, ah, I meant sexual intercourse. They have sexual intercourse. Addie and Jake in the hospital. After their hospital bone sesh, Addison and Jake decide they're gonna just go back to her beach house, eat some takeout chill. Little does Jake know that if he's cruising down the PCH with the windows down all like post-coital blush. He's got flowers, he's got takeout chow mein. Meanwhile, Sam is at Addison's beach house. He's down on one knee. He's proposing legit style, only he doesn't have a ring. He also does not have chow mein. I love you. Will you marry me? So who does Addison pick? There's really only one way to find out. You have to tune in to Private Practice this fall, only on ABC. I'm Allie Ward for ABC.comedy, and I will be wearing sweatpants and eating a pizza watching by myself. Hey.